everyone welcome back this week we're discussing all things money and finances as i put myself the goal of learning more about the finance world fundamentals of economy investing and so on i thought we could start a financial education series since i'll be putting more videos on financial literacy as i learn so we can grow improve together manage our budget better and eventually achieve financial freedom today i'll be giving clear simple practical steps so it's going to be a very put together easy to apply guideline that way you can start taking action right away know how the journey will look like and become financially free we have six steps to cover i'll also touch on some money management tips how to save so let's get on to it one Pay off debt. Before you do anything, you want to be debt free. So, your first goal before everything else should be to pay off all your debt ASAP. In the worst case scenario, to create a step by step plan to pay it back and stick to it. The reason why I'm telling this is the more you wait the more interest your debt is gonna have because there is inflation basically you'll be paying more than you receive therefore the more money it will cost you and we don't want anything that will prevent our progress wake up dear it's stealing your money pay off that student loan credit card payments etc then come back to me and let's talk financial freedom Two, gain financial literacy. I don't like to use the word have to when I generally give advices to people, but I need to use it here. You have to have financial literacy in order to understand how economies work, how to make your money work for you, how to budget, save, all things finances. But don't worry, you don't have to have super in-depth technical terminology knowledge but enough to understand how dynamics work i know it may seem intimidating but start off with basic knowledge simple beginner friendly resources this is so important because otherwise you might feel lost and scared that you will never be able to understand and learn what you think you need to learn you can get help from finance books i'll drop the links of some of my favorites for instance richest man in babylon definitely beginner friendly rich dad poor dad a must have when it comes to the right mindset around money think and grow rich economics 101 you can watch videos take courses listen to podcasts economists and i'm positive if you dedicate a bit time to this every day let's say one hour you can learn so much within a few months never neglect having financial literacy and never ever delegate managing your finances before you have enough understanding of what's going on make sure you're the lead who's making decisions three start budgeting deciding to budget monthly can be one of the most lucrative things you can do because awareness and routines you know i'm a huge advocate of routines can change everything i'm not saying calculate every penny cut off all your extra luxury spendings no just know where your money is going how much you're actually generating income try to put various amounts into different categories like groceries dining out subscriptions and track your expenses my motto nowadays is this whatever you track grows and it's a scientific truth since lately there has been some researchers to back this up they did on people trying to lose weight and we're doing on planning and hopefully expanding our budget do i think it matters no what i love and advise the most in finance area is 50 30 20 formula basically 50 percent of your income goes to your needs such as rent utilities health insurance 
30% goes to your wants such as shopping, traveling, hobbies, and 20% goes into your savings. So this could be your emergency fund, invest things, or a retirement fund. I can talk a lot more about it if I don't stop myself, but as I said, more detailed videos on budgeting will come soon, so stick around and subscribe if you haven't already. 4. Create an investing plan strategy Once you have enough awareness over your budget, you can start investing that money because wealthy rich people know very well that the initial way to have abundance earn more than you've worked for is through making money work for them and never let money sit in your bank account wallet and see it as saving why so simple your money is losing its value inflation is real and it's affecting your financial finances more than you think. Yes, you may want to put money aside for your emergency fund, for instance, but aside from these, don't let your money die. Piggy banks are dead and there are smarter ways to not only save your money, but generate an additional income using your money. The goal with investing is not just surviving from inflation, but go beyond and double, triple your money. As always, I'm highly suggesting you to do your own research before starting to invest, calculate how much risk you can tolerate according to your age and goals. If you want to play it safe and invest into your future, by that I mean 5 years, 10 years, 20, 30 years, you want to go for a passive investing strategy which involves lots of index funds, ETFs, reliable company stocks and of course waiting the great thing about stocks is that over time your money is going to grow drastically thanks to compound interest and if you invest the dividends you generate back into the stock even more and that's right here is real financial freedom guys so the earlier the better and aim to put into your investings every single month as you can see there is so much to cover under this title but i'm planning to put out more financial education videos as i learn more so again stay tuned for that five put into a retirement fund. I know I could put this under investing topic, but still I wanted to mention separately because I know many of us, especially those in their 20s, neglect this a lot. As a 26 years old, I'm guilty of this too. So I set the goal of starting to put money into a retirement fund this year. And guys, it's not just about being financially free, independent in our 20s, 30s, but also for the rest of our lives. So even though it's a small amount, you better start now. All the things we mentioned still apply, such as dividends and compound interest, which means we will be able to maintain our desired lifestyle even though we don't work. Yes. Six set financial goals. This is what's going to keep you motivated to save more, to budget better, because you'll see those numbers increasing and you'll feel more financially secure and successful. So I want you to define how financial freedom looks like to you, how much money you'll need to feel financially abundant, which number you want to achieve. Of course, it's impossible to set a certain number due to the nature of economies, but you can at least determine an amount for short term. Don't feel lazy when it comes to setting goals. Be systematic, be consistent, learn as much as you can. And if you take these six steps, slowly but surely you'll reach financial freedom. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.